Hello mis amigos and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great. I hope you're having an amazing day and today we're gonna create some new stuff out of old stuff hopefully because my skill level is basically zero but as per usual we're gonna hope and pray that at the end of this video we're gonna have a beautiful result. During lockdown many of you explored new hobbies. I didn't really do that during the last lockdown so I thought maybe I should do it during this lockdown. Therefore I thought why not explore a craft that I've always wanted to explore but never had the chance to never had the things you need in order to explore this craft so that changed a couple of weeks ago it was my birthday and I got this bad boy I never got around to getting my own sewing machine so I never learned how to even though I'm really interested in dressmaking and I just love this craft it's so interesting to me and I always could see myself actually like designing clothes and all that kind of jazz but yeah I just I feel like I just kind of missed the mark but it can become a new hobby and so I'm here to explore that but I thought before I go out and buy myself some expensive fabric and all the kind of stuff that you need in order to to create clothes from scratch. I might as well just take some of my old clothes or Naomi's old clothes that she no longer wears and that I no longer wear in order to maybe morph them together or somehow change them so that maybe we will wear them again. Mm. So I guess this is kind of an upcycle video, I hope at least, so that eventually I hope to do some sort of thrift flips and all that kind of stuff if I figure out how all of this works. I have many many clothes that I can work with, unfortunately none of them speak to me yet but I hope that, you know, since I'm making this video now, eventually some of them will. <laughs> I've been sitting in front of all of these clothes for the last 40, 50, 60 minutes. Taco is just here baking some bread. And I'm still very, very uninspired. I either don't like the fabrics or I don't like the style of the clothes. And... <laughs> Deco. Which is really frustrating because I was actually motivated to get started and I'm losing all of my motivation now. I'll just make something out of this, I guess. This is great fabric. The only thing that I know for sure is that I've got this shirt right here. I got this a couple of years ago from my brother-in-law and as you can see, it's like super long. It's still from back in the day when that was in style, like having super long shirts and such. So I know for a fact that I finally want to shorten this. Okay, I may have found some motivation again and some inspiration as well. I hate this print. I think it's really, really very ugly, but it's also just about learning for me and maybe Naomi will wear it if I turn it into a cute two piece, but I don't think I'll be able to make joggers out of this <laughs> unless Huh. And I think another project for this video will be made out of this cardigan. I'm either gonna make this just into an oversized shirt for me, like a t-shirt, or I'm gonna turn this into a dress for Naomi. I just really like this shirt, and I like the length here, but this is just why. I think I'll just copy this to the back as well. So I don't know if you're able to tell, but I just laid it out really, really flat, and then I just basically copied the hemline onto the back side of the shirt. This just looks like it's a very basic stitch, so I think I will be able to copy that. <laughs> Basically ripping it instead of cutting it, but okay. Woohoo! I just made a face mask. Well done, Vincent. And then we just have to basically hem this here. Hang on. This just seems way too easy right now. How confident are you guys in my skill? Well, that took forever. All right, all right, all right. Well, here goes nothing, am I right? The question is, will this be another Vincent can't see moment? Because right now, it's really hard to be able to see. So far, it's going great. How are we looking? Huh? This looks pretty good. This is fun. <laughs> We're at the end, guys. I know that black is a very forgiving color, but I must say this looks pretty good. There are a couple of mistakes in here, but other than that, this looks pretty good. Ha <laughs> ha Look! This is good, right? I can wear it like this now. 
Guys, can I finally start fixing my clothes now? Am I a professional now? What a success. Yay, yay. <laughs> Since we're basically sewing professionals now, I think it's time to move on to more difficult things even. I don't want to tackle the two-piece yet. I think I'm going to do that tomorrow. However, I think I want to make something with this cardigan. So this is the cardigan right now. This is just the style of 2014, I think. It also has this really very, very loose hood that I'm just not into. I'm thinking I could technically turn this into a really cool oversized shirt. I would have to sew together so that we do not have a v-neck because I don't like v-necks. You know what? I never wear this, so I think I can literally just do it. I turned it inside out, so now I'm just gonna basically close the opening. I think I actually might want to bleach this, see what it looks like. So since I've got my coffee here now, I'm ready to go over all of this. Oh! <laughs> mm, I just did not poke myself. I just messed with y'all. <laughs> And probably jinx myself and I'm gonna poke myself right in my eyeball in just two seconds. And now I'm sure we all pictured the needle in my eyeball. I'm very sorry. And backwards and forwards again. So now that we've got this hoodie, it's time to take care of the sleeves, which I want to turn into a t-shirt. And for this, I'm just going to take this t-shirt that I've recently drawn on or followed a Bob Ross tutorial on. I'm basically just going to copy the sleeves or trace these sleeves onto the other one because I really like the fit of this shirt and the sleeves and all that kind of jazz. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have proper fabric scissors. I ordered some right now. This looks like another face mask. Because I feel really rebellious right now, I'm just gonna cut it. Good fucking bye. I also hate the color of this. I definitely have to bleach this. I don't like the hood at all, so I really, really want to get rid of it because this is just annoying to work with and honestly I just feel really rebellious right now so I'm just gonna say bye bye to this goodbye now we've got this this kind of looks like a turtleneck I'm gonna see if I can still turn it into a turtleneck and if it works then great if not then I'm just gonna make a basic t-shirt out of it honestly I have no idea what I'm doing I'm just going with my gut here all right I just put all the needles in place and I'm just gonna sew it now and I'll let you know how it went afterwards. Hold on, why do I actually kind of like this? I know the shoulders are a bit weird, but I also think it's kind of an interesting fit that I've definitely never worn before because, yeah because I've never made my own clothes. <laughs> but I think I would actually finally wear this cardigan again, which is no longer a cardigan, but a t-shirt. I actually really like how long the sleeves are. I wish they were a little bit wider, but we can get there. <sighs> and tomorrow when the bleach arrives, I'm actually thinking of tie-dyeing it because I just don't like this color at all. Alrighty guys, it is the next day and I've got fine at Simpmanen and a dream and also a lot of motivation to make something great because I think the things I've done yesterday, they're safe, they're okay, they're just nothing special. Today, we're also not gonna do something special, <laughs> but I think something a little bit more special until at some point in hopefully the near future, we're gonna be able to make something really, really special. Until then, Mm -mm -mm. As I've announced yesterday, today I want to make a two-piece or just something in general for Naomi. And I'm going to do it using this sweater. And I'm also going to morph it or use this relatively plain black sweater. So basically I just searched through Naomi's closet. And I found pieces that I kind of want to recreate or at least use the shape of. So that will end up with something resembling this. I also just found some joggers. Okay, let's see if I can make you understand. Sorry, I didn't really care much about the drawing. This is the Adidas AAA ugly situation and this is the one with the cutouts. Out of the Adidas one, we're gonna make the sports bra. I think that should be fairly easy. So for the pants, I'm basically thinking of mainly using the black sweater. This elastic on the bottom of the sweater will become our elastic of the top of our pants. I thought for the inside of the legs, we might add some of the pieces 
is that the Adidas sweater leaves us with so that it ties in together. That is the plan. I have no idea if it's gonna work, but let's get to work. We're gonna turn this bad boy inside out. I'm just gonna trace it basically. There will be so many of you guys who are like, oh my god, what the fuck is this kid doing? Cool. Then we're obviously gonna leave seam allowance. Oh well, you can see. Oh. Yay, my scissors! This came at the right time. I'm just about to cut. So here you can see what I've done. I'm just gonna cut along the outer lines now. Oh my god, it cuts so well. This is a crop top. Naomi, I made a crop top for you. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Hang on. You just... Okay, queen, I see you. I see you. Oh, yes, a lot of back. You can keep it for now. What? I made the armholes and I'm just gonna sew along here one big old circle. Try at least. <laughs> Alrighty, is everyone ready? Am I ready? I'm bleeding. But it didn't hurt, so I'm not really bleeding. Now, I'm gonna do the same on the other side, and then I think I have to go over it with a zigzag stitch just to secure all of this. Let's look at it from the other side very carefully. We've got this sports bra situation going now. As I've said, I went over all of these stitches with a zigzag stick and then I've also sewn this together and also went over it with a zigzag stitch. And now there are no more needles in here. Oh, oh hey, that actually fits good, right? It's a bit tight. It's too tight. Oh, yeah, because the fabric is not as elastic. I think I can just open the seam again and make it less tight. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> cute. Chili cutter time. Yeah. Mm, yeah. This break took a bit longer than anticipated because during my break we also bawled our eyes out watching This Is Us. But I also finished this. We obviously have these pants right here. I'm gonna take the bottom of this sweater and this will be our top of our new pants. However, as you can see, the sweater isn't long enough. So I'm thinking of just doing this part with the A fabric. So I'm gonna just cut off the sleeves now. And then I need to cut right in the center of this. I gotta figure out how I want the two fabrics to sort of line up. I think I would like for it to be in this wavy line. Now I need to copy that on this one as well. This is what we're left with. Ah, uh, my brain. Please do not judge all of this mess, but I think this is the best way I can show you. Here is my plan. This will obviously be the bottom of our pants. And then on top of this will go the black part. Basically just cut off the A fabric here. This is such a chaotic video. <laughs> I guess before I piece it all together, I am going to sew along the insides of my new pants. <laughs> Yes! We have to turn the rest of our leg the right way around. The black fabric is inside out and then I turned the A fabric right way around and I just tucked it in here so that both ends of my fabrics align. <laughs> Guys, I'm so stupid! <laughs> like what I did! <laughs> So everyone, are you ready for the final outfit reveal? The most beautiful outfit you will ever see in your entire life and you have ever seen. But don't be too jealous. I can't even see anything. Great! I don't think you have to see the pants. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. And they don't look too bad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, yeah. If it were good, then it, I guess it would be... Okay. Yeah, the only thing you'll have to do is just make it a bit tighter because I had to... Yeah, no, I mean, that's an easy fix. But I like the top, actually. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, it does. So sad I can't see it. I mean, it's not too sad because... Okay. 
Ooh, I mean, okay. it can go high. It's a jumpsuit. It belongs together. Oh, yes. Absolute prettiness. Good job, Vincent. That was amazing for your first try. Okay, queen, come through. That's comfy. Suits you! Alrighty guys, and I think that concludes my video. I obviously wanted to tie-dye the shirt. And if the bleach arrives while I'm still editing this video, then I might insert a photo of the new shirt here. If not, then I'm sorry that you can't see the final result, but maybe I'll post a photo with it on my Instagram and then you can see it there. Or I'll just wear it in a video. I don't know. Obviously, it doesn't look amazing, but I think for my basically zero skill level, We obviously know by now that I am not a professional, but I think for the skill level that I started this video with, which was basically at zero, I think the pieces turned out good. Yeah, there are a lot of things I could have done differently and better as well, but I will do that in the next video. If you want me to keep on making these type of videos, because I'm not sure if I will keep on sewing if I don't do it for a video, because I don't really have time for it otherwise. <laughs> it's very late now, and I'm very hungry, so entonces, nos vemos la Próxima vez y bye.